So that was the top list, guys. I hope you are if you liked it. We're already done. Yeah. What is going on, everybody? Frankie here for the Bakersfield. Gentlemen, you guys, we are here at Cigars and More Bakersfield as we do uh, almost every Tuesday morning. And uh, we've got something special for you guys. You guys, we're going to start to unveil our top 10 cigars of the year. Uh, we're going to start with number 10. I'm going to work away number uh, 4. Uh, it would Today? be number 4, yeah. And then uh, next week we'll do 3 and 2. And then we'll follow that up the week after with our number 1 cigar of the year. So, uh, Mike, start that video. Let's go. Guys, so like I said, we're going to start unveiling our top 10 cigars of 2020 this year. Right uh, I just want to say hi to Tim, Lauren, Cam, Alfonso, Jeff, and you're blocking the name, so I can't read it. You, okay. It's still Jeff. Uh, so Jeff. And uh, so Jeff actually pulled out a squeaker. He ended up beating Arulio by a, a little under two points uh, yesterday to uh, clinch his, his ticket to the uh, Baseball Gentleman Fantasy Football um, Achievable Super Bowl. I don't know what we're calling it. Uh, whatever you guys want to call it, the gentleman bowl. I don't know. That's so, Steno, how are you doing? Really um, but yeah, he squeaked out a victory last night over really that score should be finalized tomorrow morning. Uh, and then our finals will be uh, the number four seed, uh, no, number three seed, Jeff, yep. three seed, Jeff, uh, against the number one seed, uh, which would be me. So, it's gonna be a good game. I hope, uh, I hope it's entertaining. If the scores are similar to how they were for last weekend's games, Jeff's gonna destroy me. Yes, yes um, I hope so. So hopefully we'll, we'll change some things up. I'm putting in some new players um, that I were on my bench, like I should have uh, last last time. Uh, Swift and, and Landry uh, should have been playing, but it is what it is. Um, my hope, but congratulations to Jeff. Yeah, my hope is that we see a Jeff victory. Um, that's right. He lights up his cigar. Uh, the one thing I didn't think about while we're doing this is what what do we say first? Like, are we going to talk about what's in my hand and your hand, and then go into the top? 10 through 6? No, we'll do. We'll start with number 10. All right. So I would like to get my notes out then. I'm going to go ahead and hit that share button one, two more times, and then get over here to my notes. And, brother, if you wouldn't mind passing me that cigar. Why would I pass you the cigar? So I could show it off? I was just going to show it off myself. Oh, well, then Frank can show it off. That's fine. Um, but before we get started, uh, also, uh, you guys, we will be starting with number 10, like we said. But uh, don't forget to go to CigarScore.com and vote for us for Cigar uh, Show of the Year for 2020, as well as Bakersfield uh, Cigars and More uh, for Lounge of the Year. Yes, and then yes. when it comes to Brand of the Year, whatever your heart desires. I, there's quite a few good ones on there. It's going to be hard to choose, but for myself, I know what I'm voting for for Lounge and for Show. It'd be, it'd be wrong of me to vote for another one, right? I got to vote for this one, and I hope you will too. Many times you want a day, guys, but even one time a day is a huge help. And share the show as always. You guys help us reach more people. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so let's kick it off, you guys. We're going to start with our number 10 cigar of 2020. And I have caked over the bag, so there we go. This is the Jackie-inspired Esteban Carreras. It is the cashmere in Connecticut. Come on, oh, there's nice. Got a little bit of less glare on there. But there it is, guys. One of the newest additions from Esteban Carreras. And I am going to go ahead and get my notes right here. Move my drink out of the way. Oh, it looks good right now. And this is a Connecticut wrap cigar with Nicaraguan, and it's it's a complete Nicaraguan cigar um, with an Ecuadorian Connecticut by, or a wrapper over it. So your your fillers, your binder, it's all going to be Nicaraguan. It is a medium cigar. 
uh, aiming more on the mild side. I think that was their intention, was to go with a more mild cigar to cut. Huge package coming. In. Yeah. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Um, to kind of give you a different uh, take on their blending skills. Right. Because if you look at the Chupacabra, uh, the Unforsaken now, unbelievably strong, strong. Very, very good cigar. But they've decided to go on the opposite right. end of the spectrum and have something very phenomenal, very smooth. And I've got to say, I've only smoked it a handful of times. Yeah. But every time I've smoked it, it surprised me how much I've liked it. Uh, being a, a Connecticut cigar uh, coming from last year. Uh, when they did Under Young Forsaken, which was so much heavier than this, um, going like you said, complete opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, this one, it really surprised me. It absolutely did. And you know what? They did a great job. It was a great call with that. And uh, you're going to see that kind of um, that kind of trend on the list this year, I think, of uh, taking two ends of the spectrum and making both of them excellent. Just unbelievably flavorful and great quality from top to bottom. So I'm very excited about that. I'm also excited to see Jeff. Never thought I'd vote against Cigar Vixen. But well, we appreciate it. You picked the right time to do so. Let's hope we win, guys. I really I really am excited, and I, I hope we win. I'm not going to be sad if we don't. I, I will know, be. I'll be I, very sad. I know we got plenty of great fans out there. Look at another one turning in. Uh, I love the Nobles. No, no, how do you pronounce that? Nobles. Nobles. Good morning, Angelica. How are you doing today? Anthony, check it in. In fact, I think Frankie and, and Anthony have some business. To yes, I do. Right after this show, I will be mailing out something to Anthony. It's currently sitting... Uh, in my backpack, um, like you guys know, he beat me uh, the week my grandmother died. So I hope you feel good about that. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Wait, she so, died again? No, no, no. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, you know, I, unfortunately, I didn't send the cigars out to Anthony because of everything going on with the family. But I will be sending them off today right after the show. Uh, so, absolutely, uh, Anthony, those are on the way. Uh Oh, so Celestino, if you'd like to vote, and thank you, Angelica, for voting every day. I really do appreciate yes. that. Yes. Um, it is in the description above. I believe it is the first link in the description. You also have the email list. You have the store on there. You get the Patreon if you want to check that out. Um, and, yeah, it's all the links that you need to go check out what we do. And uh, if you're here on uh, Cigars and More, be sure to hit that like button and sign up for that email as well. Yeah. Because there's different deals going on all the time. That does not hurt to sign up, guys. Absolutely, absolutely. Leo, how are you doing? And it is cigarscore.com. Is yes. Head, head over to, yeah. Um, can't wait to see what's uh, inside. Michael, let's, I'll be voting. Thank you very much for voting. Thank you, thank you, thank that. you. Uh, so next up on the list, you guys, uh, is another cigar that uh, it's a new cigar, but it's an old name. They actually released the cigar back in, I think, 2007. Uh, but when... Uh, our uncle Richard uh, Rodriguez took over for blending for this company. Uh, he completely changed the blend. And I have the original blend that I'm going to read off to you guys. It was an OSA wrapper with the Corojo binder, Dominican Allure, and Nicaraguan. And um, um, uh, can't even read my writing. Oh, Brazilian. Man. Brazilian tobacco. Paul, how you doing? Uh, now, he went and changed it to a uh, Cameroon wrapper with an Ecuadorian Sumatra binder. And fillers from Nicaragua, from Esteli and Jalapa. And that, of course, is the newly released CAO Visions. Nice. And the, the glare is kind of killing it right there. It is. Um, do you want to go get the box real quick? So you can I show don't want to get the box. It's a big box. It's and, a big box. Big but box, it's a cool box. box. It lights up with that blue LED inside. Uh, it's a fantastic cigar. We just got these in not too long ago. Uh, but we did get a chance to taste this before it was released. And I got to say, Rich did a fantastic job with that. Uh, I got uh, notes of cocoa, cedar, uh, nuttiness. And again, that packaging is phenomenal. If you guys are interested in box yeah. buys, that is one of the coolest boxes I've seen all year. So you don't want to skimp on that one. Yeah, I think, absolutely uh, not. And, and do you, have you seen the original too? Yes. I thought that was a really cool idea to bring it back, especially with the new technology with the LEDs, because that was back in what, 1997 ish? Maybe 96, 97. What? 2007. No, the yeah. first one? That was back in the 90s. No. No, I'm I'm gonna have to call uh I'm gonna have to call BS on that, Frankie. I think you're wrong. Thank you. Trina. So this is the box right here, you guys. It's got a small button in the back. Turn it on. Uh I don't think, can you guys see it? There you go. So the CAO nice. lights up right there, and then you can see the lights coming out the side. And then you open it up, and it really makes the whole thing glow. It really does. No, so that's a damn. I thought it was 1997. For I some take reason. my notes right, you know. No, you don't, I don't mess no, up. I don't believe it. Thank, Thank you, Trina. I'm gonna go back in time. 
or at least a so cigar Angelica called calls it the uh, strip club box. Ha, ah, nice. Very, I very like fitting. It but works. It's glamorous. But, you know, don't let the packaging fool you and think, oh, they went all in the packaging. The flavor of that cigar as well is fantastic. It's a very good cigar. If you guys have not yet tried it, I would definitely make the investment because uh, it does cost a little bit more um, than a typical cigar. But I, I think it's a I good. wouldn't say so, though. Honestly, it's in that middle point where, um, where uh, let's see. Well, well, a couple other guys on our list are about the same price point, uh -huh. and I definitely think your money's going to be well put in either spot. Uh, John, the invite's right now. Come on over. Get on over right now. Stop golfing. Go. I mean, John does have two tatuajes, uh, and he could have shared one, but he didn't. He chose not to, so that was also a fresh invite right there. Yeah, but you had three. Oh, I have one. No, no, you had three more in your house. I saw you. You sneak out the other three. Well, you got to put me on blast. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to need one of those. They, they are incredible. Uh, I want to get one, too, but I don't know if they're going to let me snag that box when it's all empty. Yeah. And I think there, it's going to. There's actually a few people in the store uh, that have been buying these on the regular just because they want to be the one to get the last one uh, so that they can uh, offer some money for that box. Let me get the box. Because they, the a box. lot of people here want that box. It's a beautiful box. We might even just end up raffling it off. Um because a lot of people want that box. So Not according if, to Trina's list. If Trina then. doesn't, the, the CAO box. Division one. Oh, you can wrap it yeah. You don't so like it? What? They, they, there's at least three people in the shop that come in to buy this cigar just because they want to get that box. And honestly, I, I, I'm not going to lie. The first time I saw it, I was like, yeah, it's all packaging. Uh, it's like, uh, what is it? I, I don't know. Um, I can't think of another good comparison right now, but I, I thought it was basically just a really pretty package. Around what was going to be an okay. It's cigar. all the the uh, the extra bells and whistles, not the actual body. I think it's, I think it's prettier than some of the Oh, definitely. Oh, absolutely. I think it's much sleeker. Peter, how you doing? Um, I absolutely would would agree. It's a lot. It was. I thought it was a lot more sizzle, a lot less steak. But I gotta say, no, it's a one hundred percent great cigar. Um, especially if you like something a little bit lighter. Yes. I believe it's got the. Uh, what is it? Is it a Connecticut wrap? Uh, it is a Cameroon. Cameroon. Excuse me. Cameroon wrap. But still kind of lighter on flavor, or lighter on strength, excuse me, while keeping that flavor. So it's just, it's a well rounded cigar, especially when what they came out with um, uh, the bones. Bones. This year. So again, that that complexity of, of something super strong and something super mild and smooth, the two of them just complement each other very well for one good day of smoking if you have both of them back to back. Um, all show, no show. Okay. Uh, how many sticks up in the box? I will let you know, John. I'll text you after the show. Yes. Uh, but up next, Mike, I believe you have the notes for this one. I do. Let me get and, those. And uh, this one was a really good one, too. And this is one of the first that I've ever tried from this guy here. Yes. I believe this is the Hamlet Liberation. Yes. That we got on hand right now. Yes, it is. And we have that, uh, what do you call it? Let me see my notes right here. Ecuador and Habano wrapper around Nicaraguan uh, binder. And to fill it off with Honduras and Nicaraguan fillers. For a very medium cigar, as far as strength goes, but not medium in flavor. These are all all the lists so far. Even though we've got on the lighter end for most of them so far, nothing has sacrificed flavor itself. Right, absolutely right. Ten percent up there. Quality as far as construction of cigar, smoke output, draw have all been a hundred percent good. Uh, I think that's been a big, big uh, plus in all of those cigars books so far. And Hamlet is no no exception. And getting to meet Hamlet was probably a highlight of 2020 for me. Yeah. That dude is hilarious. He is a real life um Tony Montana. If you wanna if you wanna uh see a blimp outside your house that says the world is yours, it's probably outside his house actually, not yours. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you right now. And he'll make fun of Mike for you. So we also like that. We did like that a lot. Maybe too much. A little too uh, much. But it is a fantastic cigar. Uh, we actually brought it to our taster in the Robusto size. We did. Yeah. Was, so uh, everybody that came to the taster got to try it. Uh, I did not hear any complaints about it. Uh, so, obviously, people are digging the cigar. I really liked it a lot. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, it was it's good enough that we wanted it to stand with ours because um, for Pariah, we only have two blends right now. We usually go a little higher than two cigars every time we do a taster. We do. So, the next question was like, what are we going to include when we're trying to put our own out there? Hamlet was an easy choice. It's a phenomenal cigar. A phenomenal cigar. Um, <laughs> Damn, I messed myself up. I'm so sorry. And I, I cannot re recommend it enough. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's truly one. So up next, you guys, uh, is one that when I first tried it, uh, I was like, this is interesting. Um, and there's actually a flavor note in here that people have said that they've gotten that I still don't get. 
So I have to try, I have to try it again and again because I, I've dug the cigar uh, since we got in the shop, uh, and that is the Cohiba Royale. This is another one with a beautiful box. Oh, absolutely! I think they did a really good job on the presentation on that. Um, for those for those uh, retailers out there, it's going to take a little room on your counter or on your in your humidor, but it's going to be worth it every time. What I have been thinking about for four and five Cameroon. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, Cameroon is one of those. I love that wrapper, but I always forget it exists. No, it's like Cameroon. The wrapper on this is actually an unusual wrapper. You heard a lot about uh, Connecticut broadleaf, Pennsylvania broadleaf. This is actually Nicaraguan broadleaf, uh, which is not as well used as the other two, uh, but it's still a beautiful wrapper leaf. Nice, is, dark, rich, oily. Um, this is a fantastic one here, you guys. It had, like I said, the Nicaraguan broadleaf wrapper, Dominican Piloto binder, Nicaraguan and Honduran um, fillers. And it's definitely a full-bodied cigar, in my opinion, and it has a, like a dark roast coffee. Uh, earth and leather and the note in here that people say that they get is a dried fruit which i usually pick out right away from cigars but in this one i haven't picked it out yet there i've is. gotten more of that earth and in that uh, coffee flavor in it so yeah, that's why i want to keep that. trying it again you know but even though I, I haven't gotten that note myself it's still an amazing cigar it's fantastic smoke you guys i was gonna say the little bit of sweetness dried fruit makes that makes sense to me perfectly um cohiba i'm not gonna lie cohiba's never been a brand i go to on an often base but this one changed my mind. It actually made me go revisit other cigars within the list of uh, what uh, Cohiba has to offer. Went back to the blue dot, the black. Uh, their Connecticut's still very nice. Um, as you can see, we have some other Connecticut's on there that beat it out. Yeah. But that Cohiba Royale presentation, construction quality, and flavor profile all mixed together to make a wonderful Cohiba cigar. Uh, maybe you don't have uh, Cubans on you all the time, but you can still have Cohiba. Yeah. Right. Uh, Leo. Uh, how are you doing? I hope, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well today, Leo. Uh, Anthony, this one was the Cohiba Royale. Another one with a beautiful box to it. Nice presentation. Uh, and uh, Doug's awesome. He just got back from eating some German food. Nice, nice. Hope there was some good beer with that too then. Um, and then I think there was another comment. I don't want to make sure. I'm, no, nothing you got. You got everything. Sorry, sorry. But um, that is okay because we have another cigar to talk about. This we is, do. My goodness, sorry, I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. I've got the notes right here. The Perdomo 10-year anniversary Maduro with that beautiful metallic blue and gold and a little bit of black in there too. Wonderful band presentation again. It's just stepping it up right there. I, I like I like Perdomo's look to begin with, but when they chose his new color profile to go with it, it just called to me. I mean, don't get me wrong. The sun run is really good too. But I think that I toot my own horn here. I think we made the right choice going uh, with the Maduro on this list. Now this one is finally going to start kind of ramping up the strength. Not too much though. It's going to go medium to medium plus. Right. I don't think it's that full, you know, balls to the wall, hit you in the stomach kind of cigar. But I think that's been our our, our list so far is uh, either very mild to medium or that medium smooth. Mm -hmm. This is a very. I think 2020 we could need it to go smoothly for the rest of it. So I think that kind of fixes that problem. But this is obviously a Maduro wrapper with Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan filler. Thank you, brother. And it's a slight box press, I believe. It is. A slight box press. Yeah, not uh, not too sharp at edges there. Don't worry about cutting yourself. But you're getting a lot of very dark, earthy flavors. At least for myself, there was a good amount of sweetness there from that Maduro. Yeah. And even, uh, even though it is a little bit heavier than the other guys, it still did not give me that feeling like, oh, man, I should have eaten right before this. It was it was enough strength to let you know it's there, mm -hmm. but not enough to where it's going to uh, throw you into that kind of nicotine sickness feeling um, if, if, you're user, if you're used to heavier cigars. Right. Uh, real quick, Leo says he judges a restaurant by how well they cook a burger for him. Um, I kind of do that with Mexican restaurants. I will do uh, chile verde, and if they, if they cook it well, then I'll try other things. If not, I probably won't go Leo, back. Leo. Uh, we we're exactly the same. You just read my mind because I go to Mexican restaurants and do the same thing either. Yeah, he'll order a burger everywhere I go. If you can't make a burger correctly, if you can't grind meat and put it in a bun properly for me, why am I gonna go back? Why would I trust you with my asada? Why would I trust you with with chicharrones? I'm not gonna with nothing. Yeah, with nothing. Uh, Johnson said the tenure was great. Doug said it looks interesting. Uh, Doug said the Perdomo looks awesome and that he likes the Maduro. Um, yes. And uh, he, uh, Brian says he liked the 10th year uh, Maduro. He didn't like the Champagne 10th, um, but about to smoke the Sun Grown Perdomo. The nice. Sun Grown is also a good one, um, but we both just preferred the Maduro version. Uh, 
did I have the champagne tenure? I don't think so. I don't think I smoked them. I just like the regular champagne, if I remember correctly. That's the one with the – well, I'm guessing they both have that gold cello to it or that dark yellowish. Yeah. But I don't think I've had the tenure, so I might have to visit it just to try that again and see what you're talking about, Brian, because I, I don't mind trying another cigar. Even if it's like, I don't really care for it, I'll, I'll try and see what you're saying. I want to hear what you guys are saying. I'm going to try it for myself. So, guys, these were our numbers, uh, 10 uh, through 6, and I just mixed them up, didn't I? You mixed them up. I sure did. There we go. So coming in at number 10 again, you guys, just a quick recap, was the Esteban Carreras Cashmere. Fantastic cigar right there. And then up next at number nine was a CAO Vision. Again, this is a re-release, different blend, same name from 2007. Following that, we had the Hamlet Liberation. And uh, then we had the uh, Royale from uh, Co I don't know why I'm going to say CAO. That was so weird. From Cohiba. Oh, the CAO Cohiba, huh? Yeah, the CAO Still Cohiba. Delicious. And then uh, rounding out the uh, 6 through 10, we had the 10-year anniversary uh, Perdomo Maduro there. Excellent call. And I will absolutely 110% uh, take Angelica up on that offer. I just uh, saw that. Once she's feeling well, uh, I will definitely uh, head down there. And uh, let her cook me dinner. That would be fantastic. Uh, I'm hurt. I was not offered, but that's fine. I'm not. I don't have to go. I don't want to go there anyway. That's fine. I'm cool. Just gonna push buttons. <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, that is, yeah, that is a great Cohiba right there. I do like that one very much. Um, but now it's time to start getting into what we're smoking today. I know we haven't mentioned it. I've kind of kept mine off camera as much as I could, minus this little guy. So you might know what it is off the bat just from seeing seeing the uh, the wrapper to it or the. Uh, it's not quite a not quite a band. What do you call that? Dressing? Yes. The dressing. I don't know what you call that. Bad words. Bad words for it. Uh, Angelica, that is absolutely a deal. I will bring the cigars. You cook the food. Uh, I am definitely good with uh with that that uh, arrangement right there. Uh, no problem for me. But uh, we're getting to the top five cigars of 2020 for us, you guys. And uh, I think some of these might be a big surprise for you guys. Uh, some of them may not be. Uh, some you might have seen coming for a while. Uh, but let's uh, let's start with the number five, shall we? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I, I didn't see this one coming at all. So the number five cigar that we have chosen for 2020 uh, is the Oliva Servi Milano. Always hanging around our top five list. Uh, it's just a solid smoke. You know whether you guys want to uh, uh, disagree or not, where it should be placed on the list. You guys know just as well as I do that this cigar always smokes well. And it always tastes fantastic. We went with the Robusto size this year, uh, which is a 5 by 52 semi box press. We use Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan fillers from Condega and Esteli, which is a nice spice, some great coffee notes, uh, that, that chocolate in there, as well as some good earthiness. And it is just uh, a fantastic cigar. It's what I've been smoking uh, for the entire show. And you guys know when it comes to this cigar, it's consistent. Not only in performance, uh, but in, in, in flavor. So, Jeff, yeah. I, I am with you. Yeah, Doug's absolutely a wonderful box press to leave. I, I, I pushed for it to actually be number four. And he was like, no, 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 we got to make this list a little more fair. Our, our favoritism can't stick in there all the time. Because I love that cigar as well. The Oliva Serie V Milano in any size you get is going to be a great smoke. It's quality every time. Never had any problems. And I've had. Probably more of those than any other cigar out there, really. Besides maybe maybe a couple that I can think of the top of my head, but that's definitely in the contender for mm -hmm. one of the number ones that I've smoked over and over again. Yeah. Uh, even when we're trying different stuff, it goes back to it nonstop. I mean, if we did an all-time top five list, I think this would easily take the number one or two spot. Uh, but when we're trying to get a new cigars to the list for you guys to try and give our opinion on, uh, this one definitely uh, – Deserves to remain on the list because it is such a fantastic cigar. Alex, how you doing? Hey. Um, but, yeah, you know, it was tough to put it at number five. Um, but there are some really great cigars coming up, you guys. So you have to stick with us for the next couple of weeks to find out what cigars those are. Uh, but, again, you know, much like Cigar Aficionado, I'm sure Cigar Snob, Cigar Journal, you know, a lot of those uh, that also do uh, top ten lists. You know, this one's consistently on those lists of fantastic cigars. And for good reason. I mean, the quality has never changed. It's always been 
as high a performance as it can be. And that's a very high bar to set right there. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of cigars that, uh, that have a similar profile fall to the wayside for me because I'd rather just grab another Milano. Um, I cannot wait. I go want to, I want to go yell at customer service, whoever I can talk to, beg them, plead. I want to see that in the Lancero, just like that of the regular V. Yeah. But for right now, I know that I can enjoy the Robusto like you have right now or the Figurado or any of the sizes, any of the sizes. And, have a great time have a great experience every time and brian points out that this year he realized that the oliva cigars are not made uh by uh the oliva tobacco farm family different different families same name uh mm -hmm. i kind of realized that also about um dapper cigars uh they get a lot of their tobacco from oliva and one time when we had ian on the show i was like oh that's awesome so you're getting out with manny even more he's like no 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 wrong oliva wrong i was like wait what and he's like, yeah, we talk about the Oliva Tobacco Farms, not the Oliva Cigar Company. So that blew my mind as well. Uh, Franklin, how you doing? Wish I could be there smoking with you guys. Us too, man. Us too. Um, you know, anytime anybody's in Bakersfield, or if you guys live in Bakersfield and you guys want to come down and have smoke, just let us know. We're more than happy to be here yeah. uh, and hang out with you guys. You know, for sure, we'll be pretty much every Tuesday from 1130 to 1230, uh, right in this spot right here. Now, talking about that a little more, I, I still remember, you know, Every time that we've hung out with um, with Manny since since you've been talking about the Sierra oh, Milano, I think you probably talked about it before you met him, even if I remember correctly. Okay. Um, it's like it's like your uncle who's got that dollar in his pocket for the kid, but instead of the dollar, he's got two millennials for friends. Like, Here you go, I know what you want. And you know what the weird thing is? It's always a different size. Like he never uses the same size. It's really cool. <laughs> I never noticed. I that. did that. Uh, yes, we have tried uh, the Chupacabra from Esteban Carreras. It's another fantastic cigar from their portfolio. Um, yeah. it, it was well received, and I think a lot of people like it. We have it in stock now. If you guys want to order some, you guys can call us and we can send you some out. Uh, but for our list, I think that the cashmere was the way to go. Okay. Yeah, I got to agree. I think, um, again, I'm going to talk about the first three that we put there the yeah. 10, 9, and 8. Very smooth cigars. Not a lot of strength to it, more looking for that uh, pleasurable experience that a lot of people can enjoy. Um, Across the board. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't see anyone not being able to pick up the cashmere or the visions or what was our, our was Halo number number eight? Uh, I think 10, it was, nine, eight, yes. Yeah. I don't think anyone could pick up any of those and not enjoy it. Right, uh, absolutely. Especially for those beginners who are looking for something not flavored. All right. They don't want to start with um, something too heavy either. Mm -hmm. We don't want to get them away from cigars. Those are perfect bridges into the industry. Absolutely. Or into becoming a cigar smoker. Absolutely. Um, Doug said that he likes a private cigar lounge, a good place to hang out. So he's talking about Calebras. Fantastic. You know, we're happy to have you and Ishmael and Peter there. Um, yeah. We're always happy to have new people come in and check out the lounge. If you guys want to come hang out, have a drink, have a cigar, uh, whatever you guys want to do. Did you say it's 30, 30 degrees? Well, there's nothing wrong with your lounge. Well, obviously, it's something. You don't oh, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Trina is now opening up cigars in more 24 7. Moonshine we'll out. see you. See you guys see later. You we didn't get any special effects today. What's happening? Oh, man. And Brian says that he has some of the Chupacabra with six years plus of aging on them. That's impressive. That's, that's awesome. Let us know how those smoke. That's my fault. I cannot save on cigars. There's only a few that I have aging. And it's definitely not boxes. It's definitely not multiples. Because if I even have two of them, I'm like, well, I can smoke one right now. And all of a sudden, well, I liked it so much, I got to smoke the other one. Then I have none. And I'm But you fooled. still have stuff from TPE that you're holding there's, there's actually two, yes, but it's That's the same. It? You yeah. finally smoked them all. Well, I have some from the first PCA we went to. That's oh. what, yeah, that's what it is, yeah, from 2018, yeah. um, from from Dapper, it was Kubo. Yes, Kubo. Uh, a little damage on the wrapper because I dropped it one time. No big deal. But it's not, it's not for smoking. That one's for saving. That's a, that's a memory stick right there. Oh, so Brian worked for Craig, uh, from 2014 to 2015. Okay. So that's how we got some uh, some extra aging on those. Nice, fantastic. I like I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. That is really cool. Um, you know, uh, our, our rep Jimmy, fantastic guy. I love every time he comes to the shop. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can't uh, speak highly enough of him. He's just a fantastic guy. So yeah, that's what I'm curious. I hear is a, a good company to work for. Uh, I hear they uh, they're just a close knit group. I like it. I like that. And Brian, I got to start doing that. I, but it's it's like um what's what's that saying um most people when you make money you spend how much you you earn not to what your lifestyle is so if all of a sudden you're making a thousand dollars a month then you make two thousand dollars a month now your your bill somehow 
add up to two thousand dollars a month. Um, if I have five cigars, well, then I'm going to smoke five cigars that week. But if somehow I have twenty cigars that week, well, heck, every day is going to be really. I'm going to smoke twenty cigars that week. Um, it's it might be a problem. I'm waiting for the intervention to come through, but uh, I'm going to tell them no and continue to smoke cigars. This is what it is. Miguel, buy more tours. It's the only way to. Oh, okay, I see it. I see it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about right yeah. there. Yeah, John said easier said than done. It absolutely is. It's John, much easier said than done. Although, if you uh, if you have an apocalyptic situation coming, I know that John is becoming a hoarder of cigars, so I'll go over to his place. I will get a couple cans of fuel. Make sure you have some sharp cutters just mm -hmm. in case. And it's a it's a good it's a good day. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely a good day. So again, you guys, our number five cigar of the year, none other than the Oliva Sierra Melania, which I'm smoking now. We went with the Robusto size, you guys. Again, a fantastic uh, cigar. Medium, some people medium full on the strength scale, uh, but full flavored. Just a fantastic, fantastic smoke. If you guys have not tried this yet after I've been talking about it for years, three plus years, yeah. I don't know where you guys have been. You got to try it out. Uh, no intervention, just encouragement. That's what's up. Chris, Chris, how you doing? Is this Maryland in town yet? Let me know. Hope you guys are going to have a good day. Uh, uh 10 full 100 and 150 count humorous. I've been collecting puppy cigars since 2008. Nice. That is a good collecting right there. Yeah. Um, I will say for this next, I want to get a little caveat here. Uh, all these cigars that we have mentioned, you can get here at Cigars and More. Yes. And I know some of them might not be available everywhere. Um, not because they're not distributed everywhere, but you know, some humidors don't carry everything. It's fine. Well, you know, and then some uh, cigar companies only deal with like their loyal um, orders, like the Drew Diplomat. Uh, stuff the McCallum ambassador program, mm -hmm. um, you know, they're only allowed to get access to certain things. The new LCA and the, the Provada stuff and the yeah. luxury stuff coming up. Um, yeah, but that's, yeah, yeah. A, a lot of it's a lot of exclusive is going to be right here where we're sitting. Not exactly because I don't want to sit on your cigars, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> that's why this next thing I'm going to bring up is is why I want to bring the caveat is hold on. if you want to get a hold of this, you definitely got to come in, give a call uh, to Trina, and you can get a hold of. The year of the rat, 2020 from Drew Estate, phenomenal cigar. There's that gold um, accent I was telling you about with the blue footband. I was trying to take it off without showing it off on camera, but it was not happening. I wasn't having it. But let me get to that blend for you guys real quick and get to my nose, the proper spot. Here we go. So we have a nice Connecticut broadleaf uh, wrapper over the Brazilian binder and Nicaraguan filler. So this is a multi-country a nice blend of a cigar. I mean, it's smoking very well right now. Mm -hmm. As I'm smoking it, you got to try it out. It is. It is a fantastic cigar. It really is. This? Yeah. Oh, there look at that. Okay. Yeah, we got some more cigars in, actually, guys. So there's some new stuff, too. We'll have to bring yeah. that up pretty soon. But we'll get to this real quick. Uh, this is definitely more of a celebration cigar, in my opinion. And it, for good reason. It's a wonderful cigar. Uh, oh, that was, that's uh, Paul's comment from earlier. I, uh, I haven't had a lot of them, but there is plenty in shop for you guys that do want some. All right, it's going to happen. You got you got to try it out for yourselves. I think it's one of those type of things that like a top flavor profile, but I think it's one that you want to try for yourself. Nepal is saying that he is uh, feigning his surprise uh, that uh, uh, it wasn't Leo Cervi Milano at number five. And number four was, of course, a Drew Estate Year of the Rat 2020. Um, it is a fantastic cigar. Out here, it's hard to get. It we is. have them here at Cigars and More. Well, that's, um, that's, you that's know, so a lot of the Drew Estate stuff that people are like, oh, it's hard to get. It's hard to get. We had a guy on the forums earlier um, this month. He's like, oh, anybody have this cigar? I'm trying to find it. I was like, yeah, bro. I'm looking at it right now. How many do you want? Um, so, you know, we're really fortunate to be one of the Drew, uh, Drew Diplomats. I don't, and, uh, I don't mean to add on to Paul make it funny, but you just say forums? Yes. Are you going to hack the internet later? Are you back in 1990 with the windows loading up? I, yeah. Your, your dial, dial up? up? Yep. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. When was the last time anyone went on a forum on here? I believe they're just groups or, or on Facebook. Yeah, I just – oh, my goodness. We're so dated now. I feel so old. I'm going to go ahead and use – fire up my uh, Mac Classic. Why don't you just go to MySpace and get over it? Yeah, I'm going to get on MySpace. We're going to start a new MySpace show instead, guys, so you can put music right on your profile. You'll all be on my top friends list. Except for this guy. No. These are jerks. I had a cug. I had a, a box gifted a couple of them. Had one and thought it could use some age behind it. Okay. I get that. I can see that. But then again, it is a, it's a very beautiful box the way they have it. I think your 
kind of close to save onto him for a little bit at least. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know I'm going to hold on to a few. Yeah, just to, yeah, just to have him. Hopefully, well, that's another. Well, we got cross we got sent some from Drew Estate uh, in this box of fantastic stuff that they send us to to review and uh, to smoke on the show. Yes. And when we saw them, I'm like, "What do I do with these?" So I, I emailed them. I was like, "Are we supposed to give these away, or what are we supposed to do?" He's like, "No, those are for you guys. Do whatever you want." I was like, "Well, we're going to smoke them." He's like, "Okay." And we smoked them all. What happened? Trina, Chris says hi. Hi, Chris. There we go. There we go. Uh, it's because <laughs> that's yeah, well, once in a while. Yeah, I think so. Uh, when I worked for Craig, um, I found out old Diaz, uh, old Diaz Años that he made uh, in a Habano wrapper that was discount, discontinued in 2005, only made it in Maduro now. I bought two bundles of natural, and then. He's aging for 10 years. He's got six of them left. Wow. 15 years of age on it. That wow. is pretty damn incredible. When you no. break them open, you want to send us each one. No problem. No problem. The aging process will be done that day. Oh, yeah. Send, send them to Trina. So they'll be safe for a Trina. I'll like them. Probably. Fire. Yeah. Uh, I agree with you because I had to go on. Just really benefits. Really. That's why. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, nice shot. I, my 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 uh, comments aren't loading on the screen here. I don't know why. I just don't see them on there. there we go. Hey, Mitch, how you doing? We're talking about the top ten list, which um, you know, we wanted to keep it something that we make sure you guys could get a hold of. But if I could throw in some honorable mentions on there, um, I think because seeing Mitch's name pop up mm-hmm. brought up the Kintsuki in my mind. The Kintsuki from uh from uh, Alec Bradley, definitely. Yeah, and I saw you smoke. I think I saw you smoking the uh Maduro for Project Forty. Did you uh, did you like it? Because I, I enjoyed it very much mm-hmm. having that pump. The pump's always good. I uh, nice, nice strong little. Guy. I just got my package from Alec Bradley, so I just took a picture of it this morning, uh, and they were awesome. They sent me a, a, a five pack or four pack of uh, the new Project Forties with a little letter, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Oh no, you got that a while. I just opened it, and took one out, and then packed it back up for you. They sent you five, but I took one. Don't worry. Oh, totally fine. Awesome. Well, you didn't want five. That's an odd number. You don't like odd numbers. Come on. Awesome. Even Stevens. I thought it was really good, especially for the Project 40 itself, the original. Um, kind of blowing my mind because my first uh, my first budget-friendly cigar from Alec Bradley comes to mind is, is the Max. And I thought the Project oh, 40 was – Oh, man, we went through so many of those. A ton of them. And in way different sizes, that huge friggin' uh, – it wasn't quite a Gordo, though, because it was longer. It was like a Churchill length with a 60 ring gauge. It was a big friggin' cigar, but it was – Man, for for what that cigar was, it was fantastic. We went through so many of those. I remember when we did our first Togi Fest, uh, it was one of the cigars that we gave uh, in the uh, the bundle. And, uh, you know, we had a bunch of loose cigars in case you had to make more bundles. And they're like, yeah, if you guys want a cigar to smoke while you're working, just come and grab one. And I think I just kept taking the Max. It was a lot of Max. Yeah. A lot of the Max. And, um, yeah, I absolutely love uh, the Project 40, though, in, in both variants mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh yes john i will give you whatever cigars frankie has we'll have to make a four pack once we get them in shot uh two with the original project 40 and two with the new project 40 um and put those for sale so that you guys can try them both a couple of times and let us know what you think 20 uh of the ab selection corojo nice that's cool I, have i had that i don't know the alec bradley select and the corojo I'll have to think on that, but that's awesome, man. That is very cool. Yeah, very, very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a pretty nice coworker too. Yep, I wouldn't get him that. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get my coworker down. anything. Uh, uh-uh. a second. How about Pappy Van Winkle? Pappy Van. <laughs> the Pappy. I'm just gonna say the Pappy. Um, I don't know what is going on with me. The Pappy Van. Uh... Pappy Van Winkle flying pig. Please help me out. Thank you. So I was trying to say philanthropy. Philanthropy. Got it. I got it. I got to show you guys a video from Always Sunny after this. But back to you guys over here. Um, I have not had that one in the Flying Pig. I want to say they do. It's Drew Estate, right? Yeah. So I don't know why they wouldn't. Uh, it seems like a missed opportunity. Um, there are so many, so many cigars that could put in that Flying Pig size, and I'd buy them all up. But I really like it. I know it's it's kind of a throwaway size. You know, you don't need it to be in that size. There's nothing different besides the shape, really. But I like it. Mm-hmm. And I smoke them all the time. Mm-hmm. I get the T52 and the Flying Pig above any other size. And, yeah, I took Fire Cure, the uh, the, the Sun Grown. The Sun Grown and the Flying Pig, I have more than the other two. And I really love the Maduro. So it just is what it is. 
that that size really gets me. Uh, you guys working the shop or what behind the counter? Uh, uh, we've been giving full access to the shop now, uh, so we can out control the register, uh, the phone lines, yeah. uh, the internet, everything. We were doing a Monday Mitch deal where he gets eighty percent off anything in the store, but I haven't seen him but in no, on no Monday. No Mitches came in to, to take advantage of that on a Monday. Uh, yeah. where it was called the Mitch and Maduro Monday deal, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, no Mitchies came in to uh, accept the deal. So um, please don't call him Mitchie. Not without the Maduro part. That you got to you got to put them together. Oh, so, Saturday yeah. Smith. Yes, Smith Saturdays. Oh my goodness, the everything Jeff, was ninety nine percent off. Yeah, but Jeff Smith took advantage of about the whole store. Right, damn. damn. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I think we're caught up. But the heck, I was gonna say something. Okay, come so on. The, we, on we'll, we do have the rest of the uh, top ten here. So don't I'm gonna do it real. Quick. Don't you <laughs> do, don't you do it? Uh, but we do have the other ones already picked out, you guys, and. Uh, uh, I can't wait to get into the next week to show you the uh, number two and three cigars of next of, of this year. Try my first pappy at uh, TPE when uh, Jonathan Drew was handing uh, handed him one from being medium bodied and tasty. Uh, yeah, hey, you're yeah. a good guy, you're a very good guy. And Mitch, no problem, man. I hope you come back by sometime soon. But there's always a chair open for you, and if I have to kick Frankie out of his, so don't worry. We'll see it. We'll see you here sooner or later. Um, yeah, Jonathan actually, there's Drew. somebody sitting in his chair right now. Oh, that is, yeah, that's usually where Mitch sits, yeah. Oh, my goodness. But either way, um, yeah, Jonathan Drew is an awesome guy. In fact, the whole crew over at uh, Drew Estate. Oh, yeah, Jack and and, and, and Joe and Kara, I'm actually, all of them. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little mad really? at them for hiring Jack um, because they took him away from us. He was on yeah. the West Coast. We could hang out whenever we like, oh, yeah, we'll come do a show sometime. Or we give him a call and be the same time of day. It wouldn't all of a sudden be – if I'm calling him at 8 a.m. my time, it's like in the middle of his work day. Uh, yeah, so miss that guy. But people. now we got John, which is just as cool. Just as, yeah, very awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know kind if you guys can hear alarm that. Going on. Yeah. Apparently the purge has started here at the uh, shop, so I'm going to go ahead and stay up here. Still looking at my gun. <laughs> yeah. Any, anyway, anyway, um, yeah, there's just a couple other um, honorable mention I want to throw in there because uh, uh, the Karloff uh, from Tatuaje definitely could have made the list, but we just, they're plum out. And, and we usually try to keep cigars that you guys can get a hold of. You know, it's it's harder. It's harder that way when they just aren't here. Yeah. And uh, we would like, whenever we put out these kind of lists, whenever we did the, the budget friendly, the 7 for 50 or 755, something like that. Or our favorite beginner sticks, or our favorite, you know, a couple flavored on there. If you ever want to try those out, usually something we know you can get a hold of. Mm -hmm. Either if you got to go through us, call us, you know, come on over to Cigars and More. We know we can get them to you. But um, I think for what we have right now, uh, it's pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot to choose from. So there's a lot of other stuff that is very incredible in the shop right now. But to stick with something newer or as new as possible, you know, try to keep that 2020. And still keep the quality, freaking amazing. Yeah, I, I am one hundred percent agree. I agree with you. Uh, any Sinistro on the list, you're gonna have to wait and find out. You yeah. definitely will. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna give it anything away. I think. Come on, come on. Now John. Sinistro did take our number two slot last year with the Mr. White Gold. It did. Um, yeah. Uh, it also, the Honor Monk Thieves was on there a little bit um, further back on the list, obviously because the number one was uh, was the, the the Viva. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more. Uh, it says I'm gonna put a, a 25 list every different blends I smoked this year. Absolutely, I love that idea, Brian. I, yeah, I at first I kind of wanted us to do a whole new list every time, but there's just some cigars that deserve a repeat, like you're smoking right now, and um, I have no problem with that. With that being now part of our stipulation. Speaking of the list, we have three more cigars to go through. Will this be the only repeat? Yes. So, all right. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not we'll going to tell wait you and see, guys. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but with that being said, you guys, do not forget to go to CigarScore.com. Vote for the Bakersfield Gentleman as your favorite cigar show of 2020 uh, and Cigars and More as your favorite cigar lounge of 2020. And if you've never been here, just vote for us, guys. It's all good. <laughs> you guys uh, try the rock. Uh, we, we actually got to smoke them with him uh, at TPE uh, and at uh, PCA as well. We actually had our first one at PCA. Uh, the year before, yeah, and then the following year, Chase uh, we were talking with Chase Fire. Yeah. She's like, Oh my god, I gotta introduce you to someone, you gotta try a cigar, it's fantastic. And we're like, Oh my god, a new cigar, cool, let's go. Oh, yeah. And so she rushes us over to him, we're like, Yeah, we know who he is, he knows who we are. 
We're like, hey, how's it going? Good. Well, what are you guys doing here? And I was like, she brought us over here. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Well, well, let's I, smoke some cigars. Like, I, All right, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, Rockefeller's some phenomenal stuff. Um, someone's gonna have to help me out with this though, because I don't know if anything really new come out this year. I'm, I'm pretty positive it's a yes to that. But um, with with things, you know, the events not happening, that's only got most of our bulk of our information. Um, so I gotta, yeah, we gotta re uh, reach out, make sure everyone's doing well. Yeah, one of those things that you just gotta stay in contact with. Out of the list every year since 2013. Nice. nice. So uh, I would like to hear your number one then for the last seven years. Yeah, I would think that would be a Actually, cool. he's post all his, la- his number ones. What? What? All of them. Yeah. From 2013, that would be seven. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 8. Well, that's, well, he hasn't released this year, so. Oh, okay. So that's seven. So, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, there's eight of them all together, but. Missed the oh, top okay. 10. So, yeah, uh, we'll do a recap, you guys. Uh, number 10 for us uh, is the Esteban Carreras Cashmere. Uh, up next was the CAO Vision. Followed by the Liberation Hamlet. Then the Cohiba Royale. I really dig this band, by the way. Uh, the black and the and the gray with the uh, the red foil on there. Up next was the uh, 10th anniversary Maduro from Perdomo. Some people might have liked the uh, Sun Grown better, but for us, we just preferred the Maduro. Nah, yeah, I have to say the same. And our number five, of course, was the Oliva Servia Milano and the Robusto. And the number four was the Year of the Rat from Drew Estates. Yes. Uh, we'll be taking pictures of this stuff, guys, and get it on the on – the, uh, excuse me, on the website as well as Instagram and Facebook. Uh, and then, of course, every one of these cigars we mentioned so far and everyone we have on this list is available here at Cigars and More. Um, we'll definitely do a top five pack together. Uh, and then the week we release them, uh, the number one cigar of the year, we'll probably put those as our brands of the week, we'll put them all out with their numbers uh, so that people can uh, try them out as well. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I want to get those packs out. But, yeah, pictures will definitely be up later just to make sure everyone uh, gets a chance to check them out see if you can try them out. Um, see which ones maybe uh, um, you enjoy most. And yeah, I was saying the same thing with Mitch. Yeah, heavy hitters on the wall and the palette. But um, worth, I would say worth the price point, definitely. Um, at any at any of them. Yeah. Uh, whether it goes up to that, I believe it's like that twenty dollar range or to the the twelve to ten dollar range. The quality is there. Absolutely. I think they justified themselves with those price points, just like when uh, the LFD. Uh, Andalusian Bull got number one. You're like, well, sixteen dollars. Yeah. Well, I'm pay. well t- length of smoke, quality of it. I think people were just kind of blown back by that one getting picked, mm-hmm. and they should have been because it was a phenomenal cigar. And I really did enjoy the fact that people kind of sat on it. Yeah, we got plenty of them. No, a lot of them. <laughs> and all of a sudden, they kind of caught up, and now the scarcity came in. You know, that supply and demand hit us hard, and now I don't get them as often. It makes me sad. Yeah, so they're more of a treat that way. More of a treat. Eight boxes left. Uh, I have eight left in my box in the year of the rats. I gave one to my bro. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, it's a good birthday gift right there. I think, yeah, I think it's a celebration cigar. I think it definitely fits in that. Uh, if I'm going to get a, a Padron or uh, a Toro Fuente, one of the one of the Opus. um, Opuses, or even an Atabe, it kind of fits in that price range and in that quality for me. Um, kind of same with the, uh, the Coquiba. But I've had that a couple of times just because it's Friday, and I really like it. So it is what it is. There, there's a good time for every cigar. And, well, I did that the other day. I was listening to two guys' smoke shop, and they had uh, the, the Davidoff guy on. And uh, I was fiending for that uh, the late hour. Oh, yeah. And I looked at my humidor. I didn't have one. I had a, I had a uh, uh, Davidoff there, but it wasn't that one. So uh, I smoked it, and I liked it, but I wasn't satisfied. So I had to wait. About seven or eight hours until the shop opened because oh. it was at night. Oh, you know, we can just call Trina and have her open the door for me real quick. And we're going, uh, we're going Cookie Mart style. We're going to be twenty four seven soon. So yes, twenty four seven, three sixty six, adding a day of the year just to sell you leap year every year, every year. Uh, ah, yes. but I did get it uh, the following day. I sat down, and I smoked it, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. So yeah, it's one of those things like it's not just cigar related, but food or a drink. Or a song or a movie you want to watch. The moment you finally get it, it just feels good. Like, oh. So, smoking that late hour, 
with the Choco Vesa um, while watching the tax collector. That is a good mix right there. Right? Oh, that's a good. I don't Am think I we right? have any Choco Vesas left. The, the yeah, I think there's one one can left. Oh, dips. Got it. I just bought it, but it's fine. Whatever. Well, you put it. It's community got that. <clears throat> Boom. Anyway, uh, no, 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 I'm just kidding. But uh, that, that's gonna do it for us, you guys. Don't forget, every one of these cigars we mentioned, and we'll post pictures of them, will be available uh, here at Cigars More. If you guys want to try any of them. Before we go, actually, I wanted to ask you something about this yes. Thursday. Um, that's Christmas is coming up. It's a. Uh, it's ten days away, and we usually do our giveaways. Yeah, we usually do our giveaways at the end of the the month, the last Saturday. I want to talk to you about maybe doing it Thursday. So if somebody wins, it's early enough that we can ship them out Thursday or Friday. So maybe they'll get them. Maybe they'll get it by Christmas. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I'd love to know your guys' opinions. I still need some feedback on different things, guys, like how we should do our giveaways. If you want to see a quantity of giveaways or a quality of giveaways. So we focus on like three big prizes. Uh, let's say one big prize for everyone watching, one big prize for everybody who's doing uh, Facebook supporters, and then one big one for Patreon. Or maybe at least two for those because they're helping us out a little extra. I really do appreciate that. How uh, much are you selling the vision for a full box? Doug, let me let me message you after the show. Uh, Trina will give you a better deal than I could, um, so I'll make sure she gets you a, a good price point. And then I'll take two out of there for myself as a, as a thank you. Uh, we always do that. That's the uh, the racial gentleman tax. No. Uh, one for each of us. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do that. But um, not only that, I really do appreciate you guys checking out uh, the uh, the morning shows. Please tune in with us at eight a.m. Um, tomorrow it's going to be me. I'll try to wake this guy up, but no guarantees on that one. And, and everybody, go to cigarscore.com right now and vote five times for us. Thank you. Five times, yes. No, make it make it an even ten. I think right. that's a better Baker, number. Baker's doesn't. Make it, make, well, I'll say 10, one for every cigar uh, that we do for the top 10 this time. I right? like it. Every day. And then, you know, add, add 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 4 together. Whatever number that is, vote that many times. Yes. However old you are. Plus 11. There we go. Yes, they are selling the year of the rat. Absolutely. Um, we got it right here. I'm smoking yeah. it. All right, guys. That'll do it for us. Y'all take care. We will see you guys. Uh, well, y'all see you tomorrow morning. I'll see you guys again on Thursday, and uh, we'll probably do that giveaway show on Thursday. So, yeah, that's a good idea. I like it. Oh, yes. Vote, All right, vote, guys. Well, yes. Oh, it's actually, tomorrow is uh, Joe and Jack. Tomorrow's Wednesday, not Thursday. I don't know where my head's at. I apologize. Joe and Jack, you'll be on in the morning. So tune in for, for them as well. You guys have a great day. Someone get her to say yes about curse. Oh, it'll happen. It'll happen. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back next Tuesday for number two and three. Yep. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.